everybody. Today is an exciting incubating eggs update. It's been a little slow. We haven't really had much going on with the eggs, uh, just adding some water every couple days. But today, we have some changes to talk about. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I was born ready. All right, here we go. All right, this is a really important day. So what day is this in incubation? Day 18. 18, and so on day 18, we're gonna remove the egg turner and we're going to crank up the humidity for the last three days of incubation. Yeah, All right? this is exciting. To... It is, yeah. All right, so we're gonna carefully take the eggs and put them in a carton. Just put them down just like you had. No, don't flip it over. Don't flip it over. Just like you took it out. Yep, there you go. Ooh, these babies are warm. Okay, so that one's done. Okay. Got another egg carton. Okay, get the other one. Let's close that one. Okay, up. just leave it right there. Put the other one right on top of it. Now let's get this one. Okay, good deal. All right. So, just leave those there. Okay, can you pull out that plug right there, Lincoln? Pull that out. Okay, good deal. Ooh, that metal is hot. Yeah, don't touch that. <laughs> okay, so give me that cup of water. So we've been running this about between 50 and 60% humidity. The last three days, it needs to be 70 to 80% humidity. So we're gonna add more water in here to try to increase that, okay? All right, so now we're just gonna lay the eggs on the wire. Just like that, yep, okay. This is exciting. By tomorrow, we'll probably have baby chicks. Uh, it'll be a couple days, but maybe two or three days and we should have some. And we know that not all these are gonna hatch, um, we weren't confident enough in our egg candling to know for sure. And so we we think that some of these will hatch. Oh They're okay. Um, but we were certain that not all of them will. So even if we just get a couple, we'll be happy. Okay. Is that all 14 of them? Yep. Okay. All right. So our temperature is going to stay the same. Our humidity is going to hopefully go up. We need to put that back in here. Yep. Good. Put the thermometer right over here. Hi. Okay. There we go. So, we'll let you know tomorrow if we see any action in there. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about the history of humans and chickens. So, if we go back to 3000 BC, which is about 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians domesticated birds intended for people to eat their eggs. If we fast forward a couple thousand years later, in 1492, Columbus's ship supposedly brought the first chickens that were similar to our chickens today to the Americas. In the 1620s, the early English settlers brought over domesticated turkeys. Even though there were wild turkeys in America, they wanted tame ones for their barnyards. In 1849, so about 10 years before the Civil War, America held its first poultry show in Boston, Massachusetts. I bet that was pretty exciting. Today, when we think of chicken eggs, most of us probably instantly think of an egg carton. But egg cartons were not used until 1911, just over 100 years ago. The Egg McMuffin didn't come out until 1972, and this was the beginning of the fast food breakfast. And Chicken McNuggets didn't come along until 1980, as a child of the 80s, I can tell you that wasn't that long ago. Today, we eat chicken more than any other meat. Three years ago, Illinois alone produced $86 million in eggs. And guess what? We ranked 20th out of 50 states for egg production. 
Do you know how much chicken you eat every year? Well, if you're like the average American, you eat almost 65 pounds of chicken every single year. To end today, I want to talk to you a little bit about an article I found a couple days ago. With the coronavirus and shelter-in-place restrictions happening around the country, more and more people are starting to think more about where their food comes from, where their food comes from, who produces their food, and how it gets to their plates. These are things that we should all be thinking about almost every single day. This NPR article that I read says that a lot of people are showing interest in getting some backyard chickens to produce some of the eggs that they eat right there in their backyards. We've done this for years, and I can tell you it's a great experience. But I want to stress, having farm animals is different than having pets. They take a lot of work, and you don't get any days off when you have farm animals. And there aren't kennels to put your chickens when you go on vacation like you might use for your dog. So, if you're interested in getting some chickens or incubating some eggs, do your research. Make sure you know what you're getting into. If you're not ready for the daily work of taking care of chickens yourself, it's okay. There are lots of farmers out there who are working hard every day to make sure that you have good, healthy food on your plates. That's our update for today. We'll be back tomorrow, and who knows, we might start seeing some movement in our eggs. Before we go, uh, a classic chicken joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. I got a better one, Dad. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Why? To get to the other slide. The other slide. Oh, boy. All right. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then. No.